Comp Road River Watershed Coalition was founded by local residents in response to threats that land use changes would have on the local water resources. For more than 20 years, um, Pomp Rug River Watershed Coalition's staff and volunteers have worked tirelessly to ensure the health of these water, water resources, including the Pomp Rug River, the tributaries that flow into it, as well as the aquifer that sustains the flow and drinking water supplies for residents in the community and neighboring towns. I'm here at Long Meadow Pond in Bethlehem, Connecticut. This pond is the headwaters for the Weekipimi River, which flows together with the Nanawag River to form the Pomparag River. And these tributaries come down from Bethlehem, Connecticut through Woodbury into Southbury to form the Pomparag River, which then flows into Lake Zor and uh, eventually flows on through the Housatonic out into Long Island Sound. Here we are at the Skilton Road Gorge, and behind me is the dry stone arch that supported the road up until a few years ago when Watertown had uh, preserved you know, um, the, the site. And we uh, had come across this doing a survey back in the beginning of the century. And uh, it was part of the PRWC's wanting to uh, do all the stream surveys for all the tributaries in, in the watershed. And I had grown up, you know, playing in rivers, ponds, and swamps. So I was really looking forward to actually getting my feet wet. And I never felt comfortable that I could do that uh, going through private property and such until I was a volunteer holding a clipboard doing the stream survey. So that was my, uh, say, my real um, introduction to citizen science. And I learned all the different terms to describe the, the riverbed and the flow, riffles and ripples and glides, and many others that I had forgotten. <laughs> um, so I would really encourage anybody who wants to um, uh, participate in a great recreational activity and at the same time be furthering uh, the, the protection of our wonderful watershed. Hello. Today we're at Nanawag Falls, which is behind me, and at the headwaters of the Nanawag River. This area is a major feeder into the Pomparag and recharges the aquifer for the Pomparag River watershed. Years ago, this area was the home to the Nanawag Indians in the summer because of its tremendous fishing and hunting capabilities. Pomparag River Watershed Coalition's worked very hard to protect and monitor areas like this. And we're showing it to you today so that you can see how important these natural settings are to good water, which leads to good health. I'm here in the center of Woodbury at Three Rivers Park. This park gets its name as being the point where the Wikipimi and Nanawag Rivers flow together and the Pomparag River begins. We're also just about in the center of the watershed. Um, the tributaries begin about 10 miles north of here at the top of the watershed and flow down about 13 miles from here to Lake Zor. One of the things that makes this park particularly interesting is that it is the site of one of our three USGS stream flow gauges that monitor flow in real time. And it's also a site that really shows the diverse land uses within the watershed. We have agriculture nearby in the field right next to me. There's athletic fields, there's residential neighborhood. Um, just a stone's throw from here is the commercial center of Woodbury. And this is a really rich site for wildlife and is a great spot for fishing. My name is Sarah Lynn Leavenworth, and I'm one of the board members of PRWC, 
We're here today at the Trolley Bed Preserve in Woodbury. It's approxim approximately 250 acres of open space land. This was secured in 2016 from the Quarian Reservoir thanks to a large grant from DEEP. It was the largest grant that Woodbury has ever received. This area is approximately a 3.7 mile walk down and back. It's from the old trolley area that um, when trolleys used to come from Wood Waterbury through Middlebury to Woodbury back before cars, taking people to Quasi Amusement Park and down into the town of Woodbury. It's a very beautiful area, lots of birds, frogs, flowers. I highly recommend it for walking. I do it often with my own children. I'm standing down at the Pomp Rog River at a really neat point where there are a lot of different land uses adjacent to the river. We have the golf course across the river. We have Ewald Park where you have baseball fields and we have Gainfield Elementary School across the street. We used to bring the elementary students down to the river um, many years ago when uh, we were in the schools where we would read a book, work with the land use model, bring the kids down to the river to look at some of the flow. Um, that's just one of many ways in which the coalition is involved with the community. I think the coalition does a great job helping the townships within the watershed manage the different issues related to both surface and groundwater. So we're here at Cedarland Park. Uh, this is the site of our uh, riparian buffer restoration project. We started this in 2013 in order to improve the water quality of this tributary to the Pomperai River. Um, at the time, there were a lot of invasive species like mugwort and watercress that were really choking off uh, the ecosystem here. So what we did is we uh, partnered up with Earth Tones Nursery and we replaced it with native species um, like Indian hemp and purple coneflower. And this allows it to have a more uh, natural ecosystem and hopefully improve the water quality of the Pomperai River. Once the riparian buffer was installed, it needed yearly maintenance. So we hired a youth conservation corps, which was a group of high school students from the area. And they came and with an intern, removed the evasives that had grown since the riparian buffer had been installed to kind of maintain and give, give the new native growth the opportunity to really establish itself. I'm standing on the banks of the beautiful uh, Pomperog River uh, at Platte Preserve in Southbury, Connecticut. It's a beautiful day and uh, I have been a volunteer for the Pomperog River Watershed Coalition for many years. And uh, my late husband, Dr. Mark Taylor, was a founder of the coalition along with some other wonderful men. He was passionate about the river and the wa clean water, and that is the goal. And he did add um, a bent of science to the organization, and the goal is to maintain our clean water and river. Welcome to the Audubon Bent of the River. This is a 700 acre nature sanctuary, important to aquatic and terrestrial wildlife, and is also an education center with nature trails throughout their property. This is Audubon Bent of the River, uh, one of our 13 sampling locations um, across the watershed. And here we're sampling for bacteria levels, nitrate and conductivity and basically gathering this data and giving it to CT Deep to update them, um, them on whether these rivers and streams meet Connecticut's water quality standards, and also informing the public on whether various um, recreation areas in these streams are safe for boating, um, fishing, swimming, etc. And also identifying possible places where there may be um, some pollution. We hope that you've enjoyed this tour, starting in Bethlehem at the top of the watershed as we've traveled down the Wikipedia River and the Nanawag River, through the center of Woodbury, down through Southbury, to this point where I now stand on the edge of Lake Zor, 
where the Pomparag River joins the Housatonic, and from here we'll flow to Long Island Sound. As you picture that water traveling downstream, we want to share with you a quote from a colleague in Pennsylvania who said, water has a voice and it carries a message downstream of who we are and how we care for the land. Today we've shared with you just a brief glimpse of what the Pomparag River watershed has to offer. We encourage you to get out and explore the beautiful scenery throughout the valley and invite you to be an active steward and to support PRWC's mission to ensure clean and healthy, plentiful water for future generations. I did it!